Hey Waffle Gang, I do hope you are well. My name is Mark and today we're checking out some more Reddit stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. And let's crack on with today's first story. Much love guys. Now today's first story comes from Top Sound 3762 and says, Sister-in-law is bitter. Her ex proposed to me and this got a ban from our family. Am I the arsehole for this? This may be a little confusing, but I will try to make it as clear as possible. My 27 female fiance's ex is now my older brother's wife, so my sister-in-law. To make it less confusing, my, my fiance is George, my brother is David, and my sister-in-law is Ella. George, 38 male, briefly dated Ella, 34 female, four years ago. Ella wanted to get married and have kids, but George did not want this with her. He was also having a lot of issues back then, partying, doing drugs, and not being the most reliable person. They dated for six months and everything ended in drama because Ella was not able to make George want to settle with her. Soon after they break up, she met my brother, and they got married six to seven months after. So yeah, they moved really fast and basically Ella dated her ex, broke up with him, met my brother and got married to him. Everything in only one year and a couple of months. I met George two years ago, and at the time, Ella was already married to my bro. Back then, I had no idea that George was Ella's ex. When George started to feel attracted to me, he changed completely. He quit drinking and doing drugs. He has been sober ever since, started going to therapy, and overall became a new person. He did this because he wanted to change, and I've been with him during his entire healing journey. I'm very proud of him and we have a healthy and amazing relationship. Even if Ella was already married to my brother, she was furious when she found out I was dating George and that he was serious with me. She was so cruel and said a lot of nasty lies. She used to tell everyone that George was grooming me. I was 25 when we became a thing and he was 36. This is not grooming for fuck's sake. She lied that George was abusing me, trying to get me to become an addict like him and many other things. This ruined my relationship with my brother because he never did anything to make her stop. George and I announced our engagement to my family last week during my dad's birthday. My parents were happy for us but Ella said, it must be nice to be the one to get the ring after someone else struggled to fix him. Again, no reaction from my brother as usual. My parents told her to stop, but I just snapped and told her something along the lines. He fixed himself, you piece of shit. And yes, it's nice to know I'll be married to the man I love more than anything and who loves me the same. But how is it for you, knowing that no one else except my idiot brother ever wanted to marry you? Does it feel nice? My parents kicked them out after this. They told her that everybody had enough of her BS. She's insane because although being married, she is still bitter over the fact that her ex did not want her. She is officially banned from every family event and my brother is now blaming me. So am I the asshole here in this situation? I don't think I am honestly, but I want to also hear some unbiased perspective. Ugh, messy, messy, messy. But OP clarifies the details on why sister-in-law is banned, but not her. And this was based on multiple comments asking about this. OP said... Why should I be banned from my own family? I am my parents' child and she is an in-law. I will soon be an in-law to my future husband's family, but I would never attack his relatives in their homes. Also, my relationship with George is not doomed. We are happy, we love each other, and we really have a healthy relationship. A frustrated woman who cannot get over something that happened four years ago will not ruin my relationship. Someone says to OP, your sister-in-law being banned is essentially banning your brother as well. Would George actually go to family events if you weren't allowed to go? OP says no, he would not go without me. But my brother was asked multiple times to address this and keep his wife in line and he did not. He keeps making excuses for her. Just to be clear, I was able to tolerate this woman for years and I did it only for my brother. But apparently, he was not able to ask his wife to stop. Another commenter says, yeah, I think we have an unreliable narrator here. George is not sounding like a knight in shining armor and from Ella's comments that she's trying to keep OP from something bad happening. Maybe the family should ask her for specifics. Maybe Ella isn't bitter and that her ex didn't want her. Maybe she knows something OP doesn't. 
This is some messy shit, and I definitely think we are missing information. Obi says, I can respect your opinion, and thank you for your feedback. Yes, this is how she made it seem, that she knows that I am too young and in love to see, that she is looking out for me. Some lie she said are, that George is grooming me. False, I'm a consenting adult. Yes, we have an age gap, but it's not like I'm 15 and, and he is 11 years older. She said George will influence me to drink and do drugs to become like him. False. He never did anything like this. He never ever did that with her either. Although in her narrative, she's trying to make people see George as a dangerous man who's running down the street with a needle to corrupt people to do drugs with him. This is not the case at all. Even when he used, he was not like that. He's always been a functioning adult. He has a good paying job, but in the past, he was spending his free time at parties, getting drunk or high to numb out some of his feelings, and he was clearly not relationship material. She said his change is not real, that he is just a predator, faking to be a good guy now just to get to me. This is false also. I'm the one living with him for two years, and I think I know better what's happening in my house. So no, even if she deludes herself, Ella does not know George better than I do. Someone asks... Did OP have a great relationship with her brother before his marriage to Ella? OP says, I love my brother, and we used to have a great relationship before. Since he is older, he was always my protector, but I'm deeply hurt and disappointed in how he acted during the last years. Ella and I never bonded or had a close relationship. How did I respond to the snide comments? At first, I tried to be polite and chill, but when her comments did not stop, I also became unkind to her. So sometime later, OP comes in with her first update and the first part of the update is clarifying some stuff from the comments like how they met their future husband and other comments as well. It's fairly long so I'll timestamp that bit in the comments below so you can skip to the actual update part if you want. It starts. This update will be very long so if you don't want to waste time reading the first part, you can skip directly to the actual update. Thank you so much for all your comments and reaching out to me. I don't know what I expected when I posted. I guess I wanted to receive some unbiased feedback from an outside perspective, but I never expected this. I was really overwhelmed with how kind and nice most of you were, so once again, thank you, and sorry for not being able to reply to all the comments. For those who were not on the same page, I understand and respect that you have a different opinion. From my initial post, I have left out a lot of details because it's a long story, but some of you were curious about what actually happened and asked me to provide more details, so buckle up. I will do just that. How I met my future husband. I got asked a lot if I live in a trailer park or a small town with only a bar available. The answer is no. We actually live in a big city with a population of a couple of million people. I met my fiance through a mutual friend. My girlfriend was dating one of George's colleagues and they all began to hang out for drinks after work since they're all in the same building. At some point I had no plans for the day and my girlfriend invited me to go with them to a bar and this is how we were introduced. After this we started having different group activities together and things slowly progressed. George targeted his ex's younger sister-in-law to spite her slash there was no coincidence that we started dating and says as absurd as it may sound it was indeed an ironic coincidence. You may think out of the millions of people there are in a city what are the chances for you to start dating your sister-in-law's ex? Well, it happened to me, and we did not know about it in the beginning. The girlfriend that asked me to go with them to a bar did not know Ella. Never saw her in real life, and she never saw her with George. When George met me, he had no idea that I had any connection to Ella. So there was no chance for him to be an evil mastermind and intentionally date me just to spite her. I did not take George home to meet my family immediately either. Maybe I'm the weird one, but I was never the type to parade my boyfriends in front of my parents if I was not sure the relationship was going to last. People said that OP broke the girl's code. OP said, I do not consider that I did. Let's be clear, I have a couple of true friends. They've been my friends for many years and I would do anything for them. I'm a very loyal person and I know the girl's code very well. When we eventually found out the connection Ella had with both of us, I was shocked and I asked the same question that many of you did. What were the chances? It was a very uncomfortable position to be in. Even though I had no relationship with Ella except the obvious one of her being my sister-in-law, it was strange to know that they dated. I wanted to find out what happened before taking any decision and I did. The way I saw things, there was no reason for me to 
punished George for having a past. We were in love, we were happy, and Ella was already married to my brother. I may have been selfish, but I thought this man and our relationship worth it. And the answer was yes, to me he was, is, and always will be worth it. Also, we see my brother and Ella only a couple of times a year. Most of the times, for obvious reasons, we prefer to visit my parents separately. Info on George's addictions. So many of you reached out to me being concerned about this and I wanted to thank you for caring and say I'm sorry you had to go through traumatic experiences with addicts. Some of your stories were hard to read and I appreciate immensely that you're open to share your experiences with a stranger. I understand why most of you were triggered by my story, but George was not that type of addict. He had a lot of unresolved trauma. He was lonely and loved and ashamed, so his coping mechanism were parties, alcohol and drugs. His entourage was also not the best. You can imagine that a bunch of 36-year-old party boys slash girls are no good, but at the end of the day, when everyone else went home to their families, wives and kids, these were the people who could provide company to George. I think it was more like all of them providing company to each other so they could feel less lonely. But other than this, George was a functional adult. He has a stable, well-paying job. He was and is still working as a software engineer. He was never violent, etc. People suggesting that George changed for OP. OP said no. George changed for himself and because he wanted to. He told me that I was the trigger that made him want to get his life in order, but in a more meaningful way than just wanting to get into my pants. When we started hanging out as a group with my friend and his colleague, he learned how easy it was to interact and have fun without drugs or alcohol. He also saw that I enjoyed spending time with him. I looked forward to seeing him every time and he understood that his sober self is not unlovable. He was longing for healthy relationships and normality, but until that moment, he felt like he was not deserving to have them. I think the way I helped him was solely because I saw and fell in love with his true self and that gave him confidence and purpose. I am the golden child. Opie responds to that saying, there is no such thing in our family. My parents love my brother and I the same. Of course, when they heard Ella's BS the first time, they were worried for me, but I was open with them. I told them how things happened. George was honest and never hid his trouble past from them, and in the end, they were okay with our relationship. My parents trust me, trust my judgment, and they only want to see me happy. And in regards to Ella, my parents are just doing what every parent should, defend their child. She was warned before. My parents talked to her, asked us to stop acting like this and told her she's out of line so it's not like they kicked her out the first time it happened. Now on to the update. Yesterday I contacted my brother and asked him to meet me for coffee. It was only the two of us and I think it was the first time I've opened my heart like this in front of him. I started off by apologizing for him being caught in the middle but I told him I will never apologize or be sorry for loving George. I was honest and told him how much this situation has been affecting me. My brother is the same age as my fiance, so he is 11 years older than me. During our childhood, he was my protector, the person I looked up to. Due to our age difference, we never really had many activities in common and I could not wait for the moment I grow up so I can get to share more with my brother as adults. But I did not get the chance to do this because of Ella. David would always teach me to value myself, to choose people who treat me right and make me happy. However, I'm not able to share my happiness with him anymore. I understand why you would wish I never met George, but it still hurts knowing that your brother somehow resents the source of your happiness. David would always defend me when I was younger, even in front of our parents. When I was 15, I was experimenting with makeup and it looked bad. Really bad. During a family function, one of our uncles got drunk and told me to stop using makeup because I was too young to look like a hooker. David got mad and kicked him out for offending his sister. This is the kind of brother he used to be, and to now... See how he stays aside and allows his wife to be offensive and cruel. It's really hurtful. I do not care that she is like that towards me. I don't like Ella at all and I could easily ignore her. But what gets to me the most is she constantly trying to belittle and humiliate my future husband. I've lived with this man for two years. I've shared so many things with him during this time and I'm certain I know better than what kind of man he is. I know how hard it was for him to heal all his trauma. I know how hard he worked day to day to become the best version of himself. I know how much he loves me, protects me, supports me, and I simply lose it when I hear her crap and how she is constantly trying to bring him down. Yes, I go bear mode when he is involved, as someone told me in the comments, but I don't care. 
I will not allow any of my family members to abuse the person I love. I may have tolerated things for my brother's sake, but I will never be quiet in front of his bitch of a wife. I told my brother that I love him and will always cherish the memories I have with him, but we cannot go on like this. I understand he is a victim and I'm ready to do anything for him if he's willing to accept that his marriage is not good. That Ella is not a good woman and is abusing him. I cannot force him to divorce her because this has to be his choice, but I told him I will accept his decision no matter what that is. He will always be my brother, but George is my family now. We plan on having kids in the near future and there is no way in hell I will ever allow his lunatic of a wife to be near my kids. I also refuse to subject George to the abuse. We tried. We thought that this rough period will eventually pass and that everything will be okay, but unfortunately, Ella became more and more bitter and disgusting. We will still see my parents, but I'm standing my ground and will not go to the house if she is present. David and I cried a lot, and for the first time in many years, I felt like I had my brother back. He apologized over and over again and explained a lot of things to me, which gave me the chance to understand him better. But at the same time, I'm so angry that I had no idea what was happening to my brother. Some people said David was a rebound for Ella, but it seems like they are both rebounds for the other. What made them marry so fast was the age pressure. My brother was feeling like it was very hard to connect with someone, and the prospect of being able to have a family on his own seemed very far away, until Ella came and offered him the possibility to have exactly what he wanted without too much struggle. So yeah, in the end, I guess we are all some messed up people, in a way or another. I don't know what's going to happen. David said he plans to take some time, go away alone for a couple of days and think what he wants to do. But he said that when he'll be back, he wants to have a chat with George to apologize to him as well for everything that's happened. My brother knows that everything Ella says is false. He said everyone is able to see how much George loves me and that we make a great couple. And there are times when he wished to also have something like this in his life. He told me he's proud of the woman I've become and that no matter what happens, I will always be his little sister. After this, I went home and cried some more with George besides me. I've tried to play strong and denied myself to feel hurt for so long that yesterday I finally exploded. But it was good because now I feel better. OP responded to a bunch of comments saying that talking about trying to be civil to Ella and covering George's past up and OP says hi. I respect your point of view and thank you for your feedback. However, it seems too much to me saying I brought him back into her life. No one expects them to suddenly be BFFs or spend a lot of time together. We do not have the same group of friends. We do not have vacations or trips together. So how is my future husband forced into her life? We only ever meet up for family related occasions, which are not that many to be honest. In a year we have Easter, Christmas and my parents' birthdays, so four events, and maybe sometimes some weddings of extended family members, but that's it. Also, no one asked her to do anything or be nice to us. I only ever asked her to ignore us like I do to her, so basically she was asked to behave like an adult. As an adult, sometimes you have to share the same space with people you are not really fond of. However, you should be able to be civil and do not make stupid comments. I never liked her, not even before George, so I can also say she is forced into my life. I guess so, but I understood sometimes I have to see her because she is my brother's wife and that was it. I can understand her experience with my future husband was very different than what I have with him. And I can respect her for not liking him. However, I will never accept her idiot comments, her nasty remarks, her lies and overall being a shitty person towards us. She should fix her issues with a therapist, not act like we are her punching bag. Someone said to OP, as OP's brother shared on if there was some type of abuse going on between him and Ella. OP says he did not share much about what is happening to him, but from what I have seen and what he has told me, I didn't expect her to be the perfect angel with him. Also, abuse has many forms and at least she is abusing his kindness and his easygoing nature. She had the guts, multiple times I should say, to come to my parents' house and offend me, their daughter in their presence, even after they were polite enough and asked her to stop. So again, I don't think she is being too nice to my brother behind closed doors. Someone says to OP that OP should share that her brother didn't need to have a miserable future with Ella if she continues to manipulate him and OP says yes. I did and I talked to my parents and we will target the topic full force when he comes back. I fear she is manipulating him with this order to make him accept more than he should. Maybe convincing him at their age it is too late to find someone to start a family with. But hell, 
Even my fiancé is willing to talk to him and use himself as an example. That is never too late, and you should not settle for toxic people. So sometime later, OP comes in with another update and says, Hey, it's been some time since my last update, and I kept receiving questions about what's new with my family drama, so I decided to update once again. As planned, David did take some time for himself and went to a retreat cabin for a week. He went there alone because he wanted to have space and time to rethink his life choices. This was exactly what he told Ella but left out the location because he did not want to risk her showing up there. The first day he was away, Ella contacted my parents and me to ask about my brother's location. We did not disclose anything. On Wednesday that week, I was contacted by some of my brother's friends. They wanted to know if my brother was okay and if it was true that David was cheating on Ella. Initially, I was very confused on why they would think that but they told me that Ella has been going around complaining to people that my brother was cheating on her and that we, his family, were on board with it and covering up his affair. I told my bro's friends that this was not true, but I decided to be petty, so I went on social media, uploaded a photo of me with my brother and wrote how proud I am of him, that he has taken the time to focus on mental health and his well-being. Some hour later, Ella called me and demanded I take down my post because I was embarrassing her. I played dumb and asked her why would a post dedicated to my brother would ever embarrass her. She never answered, never admitted to lying and I never took down my post. It will stay where it is for posterity. After my brother returned from the retreat, he asked me, George and my parents to meet up at our parents' place and talk. He apologized for everything that happened with his wife and told us a lot of things about Ella. Apparently she is a very jealous person and she has a constant need to put others down so she can look better or feel superior. Bro gave us a lot of examples of shitty things she did, including some of her relatives and supposed friends. One of her male cousins works for a transport company, so most of her colleagues at work are men. Anna told this cousin's husband that there are high chances of her cousin cheating since she spends every day surrounded by men. Her cousin was pregnant at the time and I don't know if she was trying to imply the baby may not be her husband's, but still. Needless to say, they don't speak to Ella anymore. She had a girlfriend who got into a relationship with a guy. Ella kept telling this girl bad things about her partner that she supposedly heard from other people. She was never able to tell who she heard it from. Most likely, she invented everything. That's why her family members avoid her and never invite her to functions and she does not have any friends. People from their circle were friends with my bro before he married her, so they're just tolerating her for his sake. I mentioned that Ella must be abusing my brother and a lot of people took it the wrong way. When I mentioned abuse, I did not mean it as physical abuse, but more like emotional abuse. I guess everyone has their own way of seeing things, but for me, being married and still being pissed about things that happened with your ex years ago is clearly a sign of disrespect towards your spouse. And if someone is able to openly disrespect their spouse over and over again in front of their family, it's a high chance for that person to do more than disrespect behind closed doors. My bro clearly struggles to see his self-worth at the moment, and this is also the reason why he accepted too many things from his wife. But we will be with him, always support him, and remind him of what an awesome guy he is. Also, many people were outraged and called me an asshole for calling my brother an idiot. I don't know if all your families and relationship are like those you see in commercials, but in real life, siblings fight and sometimes when they fight, they call each other names. This doesn't mean I don't love my brother and that I don't respect him. But if I see him acting like an idiot, I will always say it to his face and explain why I think he is an idiot. I apologize for calling him an idiot, and he said there is no need to apologize because he expects me to always be honest with him, even if sometimes the truth may hurt. And I understand because I expect the same from him. Anyways, David confronted Ella with everything that she had been doing and told her she needs to get help. She refuses to accept she has any problem. She states that everything that she has ever done came from a place of love and care for that person. Right. Because when you care for your cousin, you lie to her husband that she may be cheating on him. Or when you care for your sister-in-law, you lie to everyone that she is forced to do drugs by her partner. She did not take the divorce well, but not because she was losing my brother. But because she saw this as a failure that shattered her perfect image she had of herself. Maybe after some time passes, I will actually be able to feel sorry for her because she is a sad person with so many issues that refuses to get help. Of course, Ella blamed the divorce on me and our family, claiming that David is choosing us over her. So clearly, she does not take any kind of responsibility for her actions. David, however, warned her that if she continues spreading lies about our family, 
who will hire a lawyer and take legal actions against her. At the end of the day, if she insists with her crap, she will have to prove everything in court. Of course, we don't want it to get to this, but she needs to understand that we cannot say whatever we want about other people and not face the consequences. In the meantime, George and I are planning our wedding and my bro will be George's groomsman. They had the chance to bond and even discovered they actually have a lot in common. I don't want to be mean, but ever since Ella is out of the picture, our family gatherings happen more often than before and the atmosphere is so light. My brother is slowly going back to his old self. He's having a good time with us, no stress, no disassociating. He's just present and enjoying. That's it for now. I don't know if this was the update you're expecting, but I can say I am happy. We're slowly healing from everything that had happened in the past years and I'm positive that in the end we'll be closer and stronger than before. There were comments talking about Ella needing to get help with resolving her own problems and affecting David's self-esteem. Opie said, wow, I never thought about this, but you may be right. I've been thinking about your comment and it makes a lot of sense. My brother, who has self-esteem issues, her cousin and her cousin's husband are expecting a child, so obviously we're in a vulnerable and emotional moment of their lives. A friend that started dating someone and was going through that initial phase of getting to know the partner and building trust. My brother again, when she knew their relationship was on the rocks and, and he may decide to walk away from her. So why not trash his image and conveniently plant affair rumors before a divorce? My parents. Jesus. She may be actually really evil. A commenter says, Ella sounds like a real piece of work. It's a shame she couldn't just be happy for you and your brother. Good on you for standing up for him and exposing her lies. Hopefully she gets the help she needs. But it's understandable if people want to distance themselves from her toxic behavior. Keep supporting your brother and reminding him that he deserves better. And one final comment which says, Ella sounds like the textbook definition of toxic. Good riddance to her, honestly. Glad your brother's getting his life back together. There was a bit of a mix of comments below this one. Some people talking about the toxicity of Ella and the way that she is, saying that she sounds like a sociopath or a psychopath, one of them. Some people questioning the OP saying, look, they didn't like the partner from the start. They're not saying that OP's wrong, but the way that they worded it, you know. But what do you guys make of this situation? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, just a huge thank you for being here today, getting involved in the stories, your love, your support, your time always means the absolute world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and much love.